They're the bloodhounds on the trail of missing cats and dogs, the pet detectives, called in by the owners of this animal, Keita, a nine-year-old Rhodesian Ridgeback. Everybody that owns a dog would say their dog is the best, but he was, he was a Scooby-Doo dog, he was funny, he was just my best friend. He was with me every minute of every day. The missing dog's original owner has flown in this week from Dubai. The businesswoman has helped put up a £1,000 reward and hired the pet detectives. We're not interested in who or why or, or what, we just want him back. So if they could just call the free phone number, um, all we need is any information that could help us get Keto home safely. You're, you're manning the phones here in case yes, we get a sighting. Yeah. The pet detectives are led by a former West Midlands police officer. Today, they were carrying out their investigations in homes near Rugeley in Staffordshire. I think Keto's um, potentially been stolen because he's valuable in terms of resale value. Um, he can't be used for breeding, which, which, is, which is a good thing in terms of the search. Um, but dogs are often stolen um, to be used as guard dogs, or, or but most common, to be sold on. This one Midlands company is dealing with 120 stolen dogs every single month. The most popular breed to be taken is the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And thieves will most likely smash a car window in order to get at an unattended dog. The advice? is never leave your dog alone. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today with the pet detectives in Rugeley, Staffordshire.